Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here's the first question. If an affected male has affected daughters and sons in about the same number as an affected daughters and sons, the trait is likely to be and uh, here is uh, four answers to choose from. Answer A, X-link dominant trait. B, autosomal recessive trait. C, autosomal dominant trait. And D, X-link recessive trait. And according to our problem, uh, this person has uh, equal number of daughters and sons who is affected and unaffected. So we can uh, cross out answer A and answer D because uh, when we have X-linked uh, genetic disorder we might see disbalances be, uh, between the sexes but here we don't uh, see any disbalance between sexes so this uh, means that this is going to be uh, autosomal genetic disorder so now we have to choose whether it is autosomal recessive or autosomal dominant so for example if uh, Father would be a uh, genotype that is small a, small a, and would be affected. So we call this a uh, recessive trait. But also we may have a dominant genetic disorder. So when one dominant allele uh, would be enough in order to produce this genetic disorder. So let's now um, think about this possibility. So if this person is homozygous uh, recessive, so small a, small a, and his wife would be homozygous uh, dominant or normal. Would the outcome of such a cross, and as you see, when we build the Punnett square, uh, we would get only one genotype here and only one phenotype, and this phenotype would mean that none of their children would be affected with this genetic disorder, like uh, their father. Because all of them would be carriers, but uh, would produce normal phenotype, because uh, uh, this dominant allele A means in simple Mendelian genetics that heterozygous genotype would be normal phenotype. So let's now consider the second possibility that uh, father of these children would be affected with this genetic disorder and this ge genetic disorder would be autosomal dominant. So our Punnett square in this uh, case would be capital A small a and this uh, capital A stands for the uh, dominant genetic disorder so dominant uh, trait and dominant allele so normal phenotype of the mother would be small a and small a. And as you see, 50% uh, of the children would have one uh, dominant allele a and one recessive allele a and 50% of the children uh, would be unaffected just like their mother and 50% would be affected just like their father. So this gives us the only possible answer here, that this is autosomal dominant trait. So answer C. And next question. Breast development in mammals is uh, typically only seen in females and the trait is inherited on the autosomes. This is an example of, and here the four answers to choose from, answer A, uh, y link trait, answer B, x link trait, answer C, sex influencing trait, and D, sex limited trait. In this problem, I want you to pay attention to the word autosomes, that this is a trait, inherited on the autosomes. What word autosomes means? 
that means uh, all the chromosomes except sex chromosomes. And we have two chromosomes, uh, that is sex chromosomes. One is X chromosome, another is Y chromosome. So we can uh, cross out answer B and we can cross out uh, answer A. So now we're left with answer C and D. Uh, it's uh, sex influenced trait and sex limited trait. So what is the difference? Uh, for example, I can give you example for both of them so you would better know the difference. Uh, sex influenced trait uh, can be uh, for example, boldness, partial boldness uh, in uh, males, for example, uh, as uh, well as in females. In males, uh, homozygous dominant condition would mean boldness. Uh, heterozygous condition would mean uh, partly bold boldness. And uh, homozygous recessive condition would mean normal phenotype. So, as you see, these two genotypes would produce uh, some degree of boldness or complete boldness uh, as uh, in this example. But in females, uh, we would see different picture. Uh, this genotype uh, that uh, caused complete boldness in males, in females only uh, produce sinin. Uh, hairs and uh, only partial boldness and uh, these two genotypes would be normal phenotype so uh, such uh, females wouldn't be affected this is due to different uh, hormones levels uh, in uh, females and males so for example for boldness uh, not only this autosomal gene is needed but uh, also uh, boldness affected by the different hormones produced by both females and males but at the different level so uh, we call such uh, traits sex influenced trait and of course uh, another example can be um, body hairs uh, because both males and females have them but uh, males uh, would have them to a uh, bigger um, extent. And uh, as for the sex limited trait, this can be beard in uh, males, so females doesn't have, so this is only limited to males. And another example can be breast development in females. So males also doesn't have breast development, so this also would be sex limited trait. So this is going to be our answer. That breast development is sex limited trait. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.